dare you. Snarky Priest here. I'm happier than a tornado in a trailer park right now because we have ourselves a new player. And she's hopping right in with some seriously nasty mukbangs. But before I get into the skinny on our new contestant, if you like today's video, hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, so before Little Miss Don't Judge Me, I have BED, went full Cyrax, she stated that she wasn't dieting and to further highlight her failures, she'd been doubling down on the weekly points and her comment section has proven fruitful. Okay, with that well-scripted intro firmly out of the way, allow me to introduce Eating with Riley. Riley is a new up-and-coming mukbang channel that has been fangirling hard over our very own Foodles McStuffins, which is both tragic and delicious, because in my opinion, and based on Foodles' past behaviors, missteps, and fuck-ups, anyone that is willing to shamelessly superfan for someone like Foodles is open for business. So yalla, let's get to, let's get to. Okay, so Riley has a pleasant-looking channel with a simple but well-planned layout, decent lighting, and all the basic bitch foods that one would need to have a successful eating channel. And based on her style, she seems to be channeling our very own Bitter Beauty, Miss Strugglin' Reed, and Hungry Fat Chick. And guys, let me just say, she is as quirky and irritating as Bitterlin Beauty, and she makes those unfortunate yums that Hungry Fat Chick does. All in all, she seems like a decent channel, and had she not chosen to align herself with a deplorable animal-abusing piece of shit, she might have done okay. But no, she chose to publicly geek out over someone like Maple Bacon Beauty and her willingness to dive into Foodie's comment section shows guts. And I like that. Okay, so after reading her comments, I did what most people like me do. I wandered over to her channel and I went straight for the frog legs and black bean mukbang because guys, I hate myself and clearly life is about living with regrets. And trust me, this video does not disappoint. She briefly goes over the food and guys, when I tell you I've never regretted a decision more in my whole ass life, I mean it. Like hardcore regrets because this one, this one is by far the most disturbing mukbang I have ever seen on these mean streets of girl world. And it ranks right above me embarrassingly waving to someone that was in fact waving to the person behind me. After many Many deep breaths in, it was back to the bayou I hopped as Ribbits with Riley went over her Luby's lunch tray, which was a bland combination of microwave noodles, shrimp crackers, mini air fryer egg rolls, and yep, you guessed it, frog legs. Like dead ass, center stage, looking like a frog in nightmare, she nonchalantly shows off her food as if 30 headless frogs weren't casually laying on her plate. Now, guys, I know that that lunch tray has bigger issues, but can I just say, those noodles look cold, dry, and way too close to those goddamn frog legs. She dead eyes the camera and says noodles, and I literally felt my soul leave my body. Noodles! Grasping for sanity and unable to look away, I watched helplessly as she shoved a whole ass wad of noodles into her mouth while maintaining eye contact. I'm both sad and in need of a hug at this time. She proceeds to eat their little bony legs while she again stares emotionlessly into the camera, inciting sadness to all those that stumbled upon this tragically well-titled video. When she picked up a fully intact torso with accompanying little legs and feet, Guys, I fucking passed out. <laughs> Luckily, I hit the fast forward button and landed on this perfectly timed and truly angelic story that is surely sent from whatever God you worship because this one, 
This one's for all of us. This absolute boring Becky Lynn lookalike seriously said, this, uh, I'll say the story as fast as I can. You know, we ain't got all day. But when I was nine years old, we had a family friend who rented a room on our third floor. It was my dad's friend or something. He lived up on the third floor. He had his own room and stuff. And one day he ended up passing away from a drug overdose. And the ambulance came and they were bringing him from the third floor to the second floor to put him in a body bag. And of course being a, a nine year old kid, you know, curious, I was standing at the bottom of the stairs. I don't know why anybody let me stand there. I, I guess they were just too busy worrying about the body that they weren't thinking about me. Guys, <laughs> is she kidding? She's kidding, right? Please, God, someone in the audience tell me this bitch is kidding. I can't. I give up. There are seriously no words that I can say that this kind of person is going to understand. But let's try anyway, shall we? Hey, Ribbits, when you were nine and thought it was cute to say this, fine, you were nine. And when you were 15 and thought it was still okay to say this bullshit, you were... You were pushing it. However, based on your tattoos and their level of fading, you are old enough to know that this is top tier fuckery. You have to know that grown ups being more concerned with removing a dead body is more important than a nine year old standing in the way. At this point, you should have figured out that your poor decision making skills needed tending to. But based on your as is condition, I would say you're the girl in a horror film that runs upstairs. She goes on to tell us about her mental history and y'all, that's when I glazed over. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I know she's new to this world and while she should be tough as nails if she can openly support our salty starfish of the sea, Miriam Pondu, I promise to give you my word that I will do my mid-level best to go easy and slowly launch her into the snark because this guys I feel like this is an opportunity for her and I to have a campy relationship that is both light-hearted and snarky where she makes content and I tell her what I think of it it'll be fun I promise as always thanks for watching stay snarky hey Becky jr. while this content was nauseating I do look forward to reacting to more of your questionable choices and while yes your culinary delights are somehow more disgusting than chef McShitties I can at least tolerate your vacant stares and greasy fingers more than I can tolerate his abusive singing that's right Natter I can insult you in this video too so how about you leave me a like and then fuck off. Oh.